So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Draw.io to uh, create UML diagrams. And we'll do it at the sim level, conceptual information model level. So it's going to go into Draw.io. And uh, you can choose whether you want to save it to the local device, OneDrive, or some other system. I'm going to use Google Drive. And I just have to authorize the app and I will just allow that and I will create a new diagram and it will be blank. I'll just call it geom 6110m02. I'll call it parking and I'll create it. Uh, I'll pick a folder and I will put it down into Geom 6110 Labs 2020 for now. Guess I went too deep. I'll go Labs 2020, select that one there. And it will save it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the UML palette down here. If it's if you don't see it, go more shapes and then you can turn it on there. And I will cancel that. So this is the UML palette. Uh, I'm going to be using what's called a class two. And first I'm going to have a thing called <clears throat> a campus, the concept of a campus. And it will have a We'll go campus ID. And I'll just fill in the template. I'll make it an int. And I'll also have campus name. And I will go character varying. And I'll also ask a geometry field. So I can use spatial pictograms. I'm going to choose in this case to put on a column and use an OGC data type. So polygon there and that. So that, that's, so far that's okay. That looks good. Now I'm going to have the concept of a parking lot. So I have this concept of campus, uh, campus eventually added relationship. Campus has many parking lot. So then here I'll change this to parking lot. And I'll have a parking lot ID. Again, I'll make it an int. I'll also add a name and some geometry. And then I'll also make a type. So we'll just get name in here, character varying. I was going to make actually the box. A little bit bigger so it's not cutting off there same on this one and I'll go geom again it'll be polygon as well now I do want to have another one uh, another item on here uh, called parking lot type so I'm just going to go over here, this attribute item one, you take it and drag it on and it knows to add it. Uh, I'm just going to go control Z on that. I want it to come in on the bottom, I think. Oh, I can leave it there. <laughs> it's not quite where I wanted it, but that's okay. 
minor detail. So I'll call this lot type and it will be parking lot types. Now this would be like a new type I'm going to add to the system. So I'll go parking lot types and that. And so then I'm going to have to make an enumerations for different parking lot types. And uh, I've gone through this palette a couple of times. I might be dismissing it, uh, but I don't seem to be able to find it. So they do have a search. And so I will search for it there and it does show up here. I'm not quite sure which palette it is on, but it is there. And so I'm going to make an enumeration called parking lot types, right? Done. And I will put the literal name in now VIP in that. But I think we'll use the style where we go one is equal to VIP. So we see the, the coded value that we would be using the code and the value. And so I'll go two is equal to admin in that. And I want to see if it'll let me resize the box here. There. So I'm just going to keep adding more. There's going to be a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven. That'll be a staff parking lot. This will be a physical plant. And this will be a student. And this will be uh, faculty. And three will be sit. So these will be parking lots that only uh, VIP people can park in and men can park in security, security faculty. In this case, we're not going to mix parking lots. You're either one or the other. I'm just going to resize this. So typically in uh, UML land, this is how it looks. Uh, but I want to do something on mine. I'm going to add a little bit of color to it. I'm going to make all my enumerations blue. I'm going to make my spatial tables with a uh, green highlight. And I'll any um, any attribute tables with yellow. I don't have any on here, but I'm going to put add a legend too. But first, I'm going to join these two. I'm going to make an association between campus and parking lot. It's going to be sort of like a one-to-many parent-child. And so that's down in here somewhere. I think it's this one here. Yeah, association one, parent, child. So parent would be the one, child would be the many. And I'm just going to say a campus can have many parking lots. And I will join that down there. There. So a very simple diagram. And that don't want it to be too crazy. And that I might take these text and just uh, move them. Off. Now, I'll, what I'll do is for uh, anyone coming in later, what do the colors mean? So I'll make a little legend on the side. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't have to do this, but I would do this so that people understand what's going on and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to go up to, I guess, general shapes and I will get, uh, oh, they're just dropping on square. Sure. Why not there? I'll get rid of these. I'm going to resize these a little bit. Make a little legend. There. Blue. And I'll just control V uh, and that. One extra. It's not too bad. I'm going to change the color on this. Green. And this will be. And then I'll put some text on the side uh, that explains what these are. Let's drag it over here. Now, what size is that? I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, 16, maybe. So this is for enumerations. And then I'll just control V, control C again. Sometimes it'll help me line it up, which is good. This will be spatial 
and I'll make this non spatial data. I don't have any non spatial data in this case, but that's okay. I'm going to go to the arrange and we'll go distribute uh, horizontally. I will space that out. I will also arrange it and align them to the uh, right and also put a right alignment on it like that. That looks good. I'm then going to take one of these rounded rectangles and I'll just put it over like that. I will put maybe a light shade of gray on it. Send it to the back. It's looking good. I'm going to move it up a bit. It's not too bad there. A little higher. And I will add some more text to this. Actually, I'll take one of these and, and it will be right about there. So this be legend and we'll center it. I might make the text a little bit bigger in all honesty. Didn't work. We'll try again. Maybe I just need to select the box and it will be nicer to me. There. Now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to move this one and just quickly drag a box and group these. Arrange, group. And we'll just put this, uh, pick the whole thing up. Control Z. Put it off to the side. There. And I guess I should have been saving more often uh, in that. Yeah, but this is a very simple diagram. Uh, I'm going to have conceptually two layers in my database, one called campus, one called parking lot. Both will have spatial data in them uh, with some attributes. Uh, the enumeration thing, although I've done this uh, in UML, I'm going to have the, depending how I implement this, right, software, I could actually make this quick, uh, very easily. But if I'm going to put this into a relational database, this will probably be turned into a table in the end. So it'll be, there will be an extra uh, table that's non-spatial that will facilitate uh, the enumeration. So if you're going to something like a relational database, the reality is uh, you only have three things in there. Tables, and rows in a table, and then a column in a row. And so if you got a problem to solve, like enumeration, you got to solve it with one of those things. So I'll solve it with a table with rows and columns uh, and that. But if I if this was uh, going to software, then I wouldn't actually need uh, need a, a different class or structure. I could uh, there are these things called enumeration uh, that I can make in the language. Well, most languages, Java, Python, Qt and that. So this is all I want to show you is how to use draw IO, how to use the UML palette, how to use the search to find the enumeration. Let's clear that out. And that, um, and then how to, uh, you know, make the diagram a little bit more presentable and readable for other users. So for now, this concludes this video.